Hello and welcome. Uh, in our previous tutorial, we were able to create the blog, uh, page, uh, the blog page, and we were able to see the uh, post that we created in the administration using the web, ad, admin website. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can be able to create a page to display individual posts or the articles, as I like to, to refer to them. So we will begin by going back into our code. And we will look at this blog detailed view uh, that uh, is supposed to help us, aid us in displaying the, the specific uh, article or post. So the model will still refer to the same uh, model, which is blog posts. And uh, we also, we can also add a context object name and we can call it, uh, for this one, you can just call it the blog post. Yeah, so that's uh, it with the blog detail view. And in the next step, we are going to configure, or we are going to, we are going to add the URL configuration for the uh, blog article. And actually for this one, we are calling it a blog article. So let me just uh, add the same here. And uh, the final step will be editing our blog article template. So it is uh, empty. I'm going to copy paste the code for these from my uh, website, uh, which I was working on recently. Uh, so I'm just going to add this code inside here. Uh, still using Bootstrap, probably remove that. And uh, let me comment out from here up to the this level. And, uh, save. So so far we are fetching the post author post uh, published date, uh, the post title in the heading, and I have to correct this because it is base underscore base dot html. Yeah, so these are the details that we have. So let's see. Let me go to the admin page. I can check one of these and then I can try to view on the site. So you see we get uh, these. Are, uh, normally we had set the UUID as the view for, the, for these posts. And I know very well from my URL template that we have the blog slash post slash UUID. So I can just copy this and uh, add it in front of this. And uh, let's see what I'm gonna have. And so you see we have post by whatever on. So at least this shows us that we are heading somewhere. Uh, so I think I'll need to add this slash at the end here. Okay, so let me continue by editing some things here. And then I'm going to show you how we are going to link this UUID to there so that you don't have to come here like the way I've done and edit some things here. So I'm going to go back to the article page and I'm going to... So now we have an issue. We are inside here, we are using post, but remember in the context object name, in the views, we are using the blog article. So we have to replace the blog, uh, the post with the blog article. And so this is the work of the context object name. So let me save, and then if I do a refresh, you're going to see that it has picked the title of the post and uh, the author and the date. And if you can, and uh, so that's what we have. I don't know why it's not picking up these in the title. Uh, probably I can try and copy the title and paste it here. Yeah, I need to wrap this with 
the title. So I want the title to be to take to pick on the post uh, post title. So if I right now you can see we have solar system uh, my website and this is the title of the post. So I'll just comment out all this code that I had commented and I'm going to the step we are just going to do this step by step. Okay, so we have the author information which I do not need. So I'm going to remove it. And then we have the author first name and last name. Okay, for this one, I'll just remember we are replacing the blog uh, post, the post by a blog article. So for this one, I'm just going to remove the author. I'm going to remove this one. And then, okay, these are also other particular information. Or, so I'm just going to, add, I'm just going to remove this as we do not need this information. So I'm going to read to leave the card text because it may come in handy. And then we have this, uh, which I believe is a button that takes us back to the blog. So I can just refer, point it to blog posts. I can call it back. I can save and then for these other details, I don't think we need them for now. Uh, yeah. So let me save and uh, do a refresh. Yeah, so this is what we have. Yeah, so I think I'm going to replace this info which is inside here. Uh, I'm just going to remove this. And then inside here, I'm going to add the post. We are calling it blog article dot body. Yeah, we are going to get HTML things here, but we don't want this. So we are going to auto add an auto escape. Auto escape off and then we're going to end the auto escape. We did this in a previous tutorial and auto escape. So let's see how it's going to look like up here. Yeah, so this is a blog post with the formattings and uh, this is how our, each post is going to look like. And beneath here we have this back button that takes us back to the blog, uh, to the blog uh, post. So now, how can we link these? Uh, the continue reading button should take us to each specific posts. So I think I will add uh, an anchor around the title and around and uh, this uh, continue reading so that a user can be able to click and navigate to the actual posts. And I can Call the get absolute URL. And then we have the arguments, which is a post, the primary key. And then you can do a refresh. Yeah, we still have an issue. So uh, we are going to use the article blog, uh, the blog post article. So I'll go to the URLs and fetch this blog article because this is a URL to the specific article. Yeah, so I'm doing it the old school way. I mean the old school way because the get absolute URL is not working, but normally we should use the get absolute URL. Yeah, so when you click this, it's going to take us to the actual posts. Uh, and we are we are using the UUID because of the uniqueness. 
So whenever you use, we could have used the slug, uh, which would be slash post slash solar dash system, for example. Uh, but we can have similar, what happens when we add uh, like another solar system post, then we, we, we either have to use two fields for trying to fetch the uniqueness inside the get URL, you could have added self.id and also a slug field, which is in my opinion too much. So I we that's why we settled for the UUID, which uniquely identifies the, the posts. And we, we also did not use a primary key because it can give probably, it can give the hacker or the a malicious person more information towards probably how many posts exist in your uh, model. And uh, that can give some more information towards uh, trying to plan maybe an attack. So this is uh, the second post. Uh, we have the third post. And then we have the final post. See, the final post even, the post also has a, a slider, horizontal slider, and we have also attached an image. So. This image I just added the URL, it's URL. So if I do this, you can see it's being fetched from the Python website. So we have been able to uh, add the uh, blog post and the blog detail uh, the, uh, display, displaying the detail of the post. And uh, in the next tutorial, you are going to see how we can uh, create a logic for creating posts from this front end uh, without having to create posts inside the uh, the admin as we did because we created the posts inside the admin uh, here but this is a this is the administration website so not every user will have access to this administration website so we need to create a logic in which you can be able to create blog posts uh, update and also uh, delete so we're going to look at this in the next tutorial so if you like my videos uh, drop a thumbs up you can click on the like icon uh, like button rather and uh, subscribe to my channel for more content uh, and you can don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you for watching